12 years ago, I was on holiday in Egypt. And just before that holiday, I discovered a book called The Secret. You may have heard of it. And since that day, I've been using The Secret, The Law of Attraction, the principles that govern the universe to basically get whatever I want, to attract whatever I want, to manifest whatever I want, to bring into my life whatever I want. And I've been doing that pretty much ever since I read that book on holiday 12 years ago. So I've got a little bit of experience behind me. I also have studied the law of attraction, manifestation, uh, the laws that govern the universe, the, the principles of the universe for the last 12 years. Because it's not just about the law of attraction. There are a few other laws out there as well that you need to make sure are in place when it comes to attracting and manifesting what you want. Because I see so many people saying, yeah, well, I thought that I thought about this and, and like I tried to manifest it, but it just it just hasn't happened or it didn't happen. And I can't seem to get this law of attraction thing to work. And in this video, I basically want to just explain, um, describe, reveal how I've manifested, attracted, brought into my life whatever I've wanted, whether it was an amount of money, whether it was um, a luxurious, exclusive trip to Thailand, staying on a private resort in a private villa um, on a private island. We're not, no, that might be wrong. Hang on. I don't want to lie to anybody. I don't want to mis mislead anybody. Uh, it, it wasn't a private island as in it was like it wasn't owned by a person at least i don't think it was uh but it was a very small island um in fact it was so small and so beautiful the policeman there was one policeman that lived on the island and because he was so quiet because his work was so quiet he hardly did anything he ran a bed and breakfast because he was so quiet The island was that small, we, we cycled around it in half a day. Manifested things like that. Didn't pay a penny for it. Six star holiday. Food, everything all included, hire of everything. Manifested that. The other trips like New York, Iceland, I manifested quite a lot of holidays like skiing holidays and stuff. Uh, memberships at golf clubs. Um, the, the relationships that I've had. Even down, right down to my children, my two kids, little boy, little girl. That are mine and not like bought offline or anything like that. The people I work with, the clients I've worked with over the years. Where I've lived. The coaches that I've wanted. My current relationship. The girl I'm currently in a relationship with, smiling because it's just. I, there's still a part of me that doesn't that doesn't believe it's possible for uh, me to get someone like that, and then I have to go shut up that part of you. You obviously can get someone like that, and you're worthy and deserving of it, and, and able to because you got it. Her, <laughs> not it. Like it is in a relationship, not it, the person. <laughs> Uh, in a relationship with her, someone like that. And what I do, I teach this to clients, and some people say, oh, Matt, this stuff that you're revealing, you, you're kind of manipulating the system. You're manipulating the world. You're manipulating people. Now, here's the thing. This is powerful stuff. Learn how to manifest what you want. It is powerful stuff. You can use it for evil if you want to and manipulate people if you want to. But that just never feels good in the long run. And even if you use it to manipulate and get what you want, eventually it will go because of this. For me, the one main 
ingredient that's needed with manifesting whatever it is that you want. The main ingredient. I believe other people, other coaches, other teachers of this may say differently. The main ingredient, I believe, is the energy behind what you're trying to manifest. Whenever I've tried to manifest something and it hasn't happened, the first place I look at is my energy. How did I feel about that thing that I said I wanted or that person that I said I wanted and I declared that I wanted? How did I actually, what was my energy like when I was either trying to manifest it or imagining manifesting it or thinking about manifesting it or thinking about actually having it or the person? What was my energy like? And I always get the same answer. If I don't manifest something, my energy is down here. I'm either in a fearful energy, a worrying energy, an anxious energy, a nervous energy, um, a heavy, dark energy, an angry energy. And whenever I have manifested what I said I wanted to manifest, I've always been in a high vibe, high energy, high state of joy, happiness, peace, excitement, love, I've always been up there. Quick story on that. Like I could use all of the examples, but story this morning. I wanted to play tennis with the girl I'm in a relationship with. I was like, oh, I want to play tennis this morning. I didn't know if I had any tennis rackets or tennis balls. So I go in the shed. Oh, there's two tennis rackets in there. I, I kind of knew there was one. I knew I had one, but I didn't know I had two. But I found another tennis racket there. Okay, so two tennis rackets showed up. Perfect. Any balls? No balls. I was like, hey, babe, you got any balls? No, she's not got any balls either. So I'm like, nah, let's just go down there anyway. Well, I was down there with a client anyway, first thing, by the tennis courts. I was like, meet me down there. We're playing tennis. I was certain we were playing tennis. We'll find a ball. There'll be a ball there. We're playing tennis. And it was a, a certain energy, and it was a, an excited energy and looking forward to it energy, and there was no blocks in the way. I imagine just playing tennis. I saw us playing tennis, and I imagine the fun that we were going to have playing tennis. I haven't played for ages. She hasn't played since school, but I just saw it just going really, really well. Now, at the moment, Corona Gate, it's still going on, 25th of May, 2020. Tennis courts, every time I've been down there, every time I've walked down there, they've been full. There have been people there every single time. But I'm like, no, we're playing tennis. We're getting on a court. We are playing tennis. We, get, we go down there, still no ball. Um, my my uh, internal guidance and the universe actually put somebody in my life and recommended that we go walking down this one part down here. I'm like, okay. So we go walking down this one part and we're walking down this path. And then next thing, I like my intuition says, hey, just stop here for a second. Just stand here. So I'm like, okay, that's weird. So we just stand there and, and we're by some like bushes and a bit of a creek and, and like a little river pond thing. I'm just stood there looking around. It's kind of nothing there. And I'm like, okay, there's nothing here. Absolutely fine. Don't need it to happen. If we get it, fine. If not, it doesn't matter because we're going to do some yoga and some stretching anyway. So it doesn't matter if I find a tennis ball or not. It doesn't matter. I detach from the outcome. Like I desired it, wanted it. I saw myself playing tennis, but I didn't need it to happen. I didn't need it. It was just like, nah, just, just, let's just detach from the outcome. Because I know that's one of the ingredients when it comes to manifesting what you want is detaching from the outcome. So I'm like, okay, there's no tennis ball here. Never mind. I take two steps. It's, this wasn't even a conscious thing. I take two steps and my, my eyes are just drawn. I'm just drawn. It's like a magnet on my eye. I just couldn't. I wasn't even looking for it. I'd almost given up at this point of looking for a tennis ball. And like my eyes were drawn and I looked down and in the bush, like as clear as day as day, was this tennis ball sat there staring at me. As good as new, like almost a brand new, like nice and shiny tennis ball. I'm like, wow, used a couple of times. You could tell it's been used a couple of times because the... Uh, I think it's a Slazinger, 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 easy for me to say, ball. And the, 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 the writing has faded slightly, but the green, it was bright green. And it's firm as well. I'm like, oh, perfect. Thank you very much, universe. And then, so we go around to the tennis courts. So there's three tennis courts that's, that were full. And by the side of the three tennis courts, there's four smaller, like, like kid-style tennis courts. We're like, cool, we'll just go on there for a bit. Now, we haven't played for, I haven't played for a couple of years. She hasn't played since school. 
Perfect. We get on there, we do like a little bit of tapping backwards and forwards and just kind of get used to it and just get kind of warmed up on there. Next thing you know, within 10 minutes, one of the courts are becoming free. We go on the court, we spend 90 minutes playing tennis. Real good tennis, like good tennis, having a laugh, moving around, having so much fun. Now, if you go through this video, if you replay this video, you would have seen and heard lots of little tips that I've revealed and I've given away when it comes to manifesting what it is that you want. And if you can't be asked to go through them, hey, I'm here to serve you, I'm here to help you, I'm here to guide you, I'm here to support you, I'm here to give you everything that I can, that I've learned, that's given me the life that I've got, so that you can have that too. So, quick recap, how to manifest, how to attract, how to get whatever it is that you want. First thing, decide what it is that you want. You've gotta be absolutely clear on what it is that you want. The end result, the end result. Example this morning, my end result was playing tennis. That's what I wanted. I wanted to play tennis. I didn't want the tennis ball. I wanted to play tennis. That was the end result. The end result wasn't a ball. It was to play tennis. Had I just thought about a ball, I would have got a ball and I'm pretty sure the tennis courts wouldn't have been available. But I would have got the ball because I would have focused my energy on the ball. I focused my energy on the end result. They say the devil's in the details. I don't like that. Cancel that. Delete that. God is in the details. The universe is in the details. Angels are in the details. Source is in the details. I don't have to worry about the details. I just focus on the end result. Know what it is you want with the end result. Number two, visualize that end result. See it happening. See you experiencing that end result. Number three, feel good about that end result really feel into it get into a high vibe high state if there's any fear there if there's any judgment there if there's any resentment there if there's any guilt there if there's any envy there is there any jealousy there if there's any anger there any bitterness there any anxiety there any depression there any fear there any worry any heavy emotions heavy feelings it will not happen for you so you've got to clear up those feelings and emotions first get yourself in a high vibe high state i did a video yesterday on following the feeling and, and vibration and energy and state so so important okay it's not my work like tony robbins speaks of it it's so many neville goddard speaks of it. there's so many people out there that speak of it okay that's the third most important thing or it's just the third step it's not the most important they're all equally as important as each other like legs on a table you take one away the table falls over um feel into it number four detach from the outcome happening be good whether it happens or not. Be good whether it happens or not. Number five, follow the inspired next steps. Whether it's an intuition, whether it's a person saying something, follow the omens, the in inspired next steps, follow the steps that are laid out for you. Don't question them, feel into them, take those inspired next steps. Keep moving forwards. That's it. Those are the five steps to manifest pretty much anything that you want there's other stuff there i haven't got time to go into all the other stuff around uh, like i said i've researched and studied it for 12 years um it, that would take too long to put into a video on here okay so i'm not going to go into like everything and the full depth and scope of the law of attraction manifestation etc etc but essentially follow those five steps you'll get whatever you want if i'd if i'd have to say the most important one, I would say energy. So when you're doing step three, I think it was, um, about feeling into it, clean out any heavy, dark energy that might get in the way, clean that all out. That's what I help people with, by the way, is cleaning out that baggage, that dark energy, those, those blocks, the subconscious blocks that are in the way to most people manifesting what they want. Most people say they want more money, they want the dream relationship, they want better sex, they want a great body, they want the house, the job, the career, the, the, the freedom, the time. The most people say they want all these things, but they've got so many subconscious blocks, so many um, um, limiting beliefs in the way that they'll never manifest it, no matter how much they read about law of attraction, manifestation, and, and, uh, and strategies and tactics to getting what you want most people will never get it just because they've got heavy dark energy around what it is that they say they want and until that's cleared up they just won't get what they want and even if they do through sheer hustle and grind and ah, fighting for it if there's still subconscious blocks and uh, beliefs there they'll eventually self-sabotage and push it away so yeah 
the most important I would say out of those five steps is uh, number three, which is making sure you've got good energy around that thing that you want or person that you want or experience that you want. Clear up the energy around it. If you want help with that, let me know. That's what I do. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you take the steps in this video, it will help. I don't need to say I hope that's helped. It does help. It's changed my life. It's helped me get whatever I want. And whenever I don't get it, I just go back to those five steps. That's it. If you've got any questions, let me know. Um, if you want to support the channel, if you feel called to support the channel, you can like the video, you can share the video, you can subscribe to the channel uh, for more content like this. You can send a donation to paypal.me forward slash coach Matt Smith. Thank you again very much for watching and I will... And I will speak to you soon.